This is a story of a girl who loved books and stories. Her dream was to become a writer. She wrote her first book at the age of six a story about a rabbit called Rabbit. In school she was a little shy, and would live in a world of fantasy. She always kept on scribbling something. Her fantasy world started to collapse, at the age of 15, when her grandmother died. Whom she loved most. But misfortunes never come alone. Her parents got separated. And later her mother passed away due to brain disabling diseases. This left a big scar on her heart. Later when she was searching for a job, she stumbled upon an ad, about a job vacancy as English teacher in Portugal. She grabbed that opportunity and moved to Portugal. From there her life took new turns. She met and married a Portuguese journalist, with whom they bore a daughter named Jessica. Her life wasn't easy, she became a victim of domestic abuse. Her husband kicked her out of the house with the newborn child. She was jobless, homeless and with a little baby. She had no idea what to do. She survived on state benefits. This was very dark period of her life. During this time many of her friends helped to pay the house rent. All these misfortunes pushed her into a deep depression. She considered herself a big failure. At some point she decided to take her life, but her small daughter gave her the reason to live. Somehow, she gathered her strength and decided to do what she was good at. Writing a fantasy novel. Sometimes life throws challenges to bring out the best in us. She used to sit in a cafe while her child took a nap and got lost in her writing. She managed to finish her three chapters of the novel and sent it to a publisher. But it got rejected. She never gave up and sent it to 12 other publishers who rejected her novel. Her mailbox was filled with rejections. Finally, one editor at Blumsbury Publishing Company read the initial chapters. And his eight-year daughter loved it, and became curious to know the complete story. In 1991 at the age of 31 her first book Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone got published. When readers got addicted to her book, the demand got dramatically increased. And soon Joanne Rowling, who once considered herself a big failure, became the world's first billionaire author. Harry Potter 7 series has been translated to 80 languages and has sold more than 500 million copies. And the movie franchise made $7.7 .7 billion. So, she turned her wounds into wisdom. Hardship and misfortunes in life is there for a good reason. Every block of stone has a statue inside. Life chisels it during tough times.